Hey coaches, Coach Corn here. Just touching base with you real quick before we kick off our next fast track course. Make the phone ring again on April 1st. Now I shot you one email or one video actually, and just wanted to invite you all to join this fast track course, especially since coaching with maps, that's one of the benefits we get. You can take a fast track course. So I was looking through uh, the one thing again, just kind of going back through the book over and over and over again. And I found a section that really just stood out about how this course, how this fast track course, Make the Phone Ring Again, was designed. And it was just funny how putting this thing together, how it just fit into this section of the book. So I know if you have your book um, on page 55, where Gary's talking about a disciplined life. And I'm just going to read a section out of here and tell you how this course applies to this section of the book. Um, but the very top of the page, he talks about how success is actually a short race. It's a sprint fuel, fueled by discipline just long enough for a habit to kick in and take over. See, when we know something that needs to be done, but it's not currently getting done, we often say, you know, I just need more discipline. And we hear our clients say that all the time, and we say it to ourselves all the time. But actually, we need the habit of doing it. And we need to just enough discipline to build that habit. So in any discipline about success, the words discipline and habit ultimately intersect though through or I'm sorry though separate in meaning they powerfully connect to form the foundation for achievement regularly working at something until it regularly works for you when you discipline yourself you're essentially training yourself to act in a specific way this is one of the things that I've done over the last six to seven years with our database was by just focusing on five a day and being in that database and adding five a day before I even built up the systems, my focus was to get in the habit of feeding it every day. Otherwise, setting up all these systems really didn't mean anything. It was a waste of time. So until I built that habit and it was just happening, uh, that's how I did it. And, I re and really, another easy way to read a habit is repetition. Reading pages 133 through 148 over and over and over again helped me form that habit. It wasn't discipline, it was a habit. So when you discipline yourself, you're essentially training yourself to act in a specific way. Stay with this long enough and it becomes routine. In other words, a habit. So when you see people that look uh, disciplined, you're really seeing people who have trained themselves to really truly to have a habit formed that just happens automatically. Um, and then uh, just to kind of finish up, this was just, I couldn't believe this. It was so real for what we experience with a lot of our clients. Um, and who would want to be disciplined anyway, really, is what Gary's talking about here. The very thought of having your every behavior modeled and maintained by training seems frighteningly impossible on one hand and utterly boring on the other. So I got to tell you, um, talking about being in your database every day and making calls for two hours every day, we're going to talk about that here in a second, but it just doesn't sound exciting, as exciting as um, putting together a killer marketing campaign that has like 12 real killer headlines and we're going to blast it out to 5,000 people over the next 12 months. So it just sounds more boring than just doing five a day, five a day, five a day. But most people ultimately reach this conclusion, but seeing no alternative, they redouble their efforts at the impossible or quietly quit. Frustration shows up and resignation eventually sits in. And that's the part where he gets into the 66 days to develop a habit. Guys, the fast track course is designed over 16 weeks. The first two months of this course are really just to get the information, get their mindset straight and introduce some exciting um, systems. Like for example, when they hear about the five a day, they're gonna be excited about five a day. Now the last two months of the course, there's 16 calls, the last two months of the course are the 66 days to actually anchor the habit. It takes the first couple of months to get them excited about five a day, to really be working on five a day. I help them develop an, an automatic follow-up system to keep them plugged into their database every day. And by the second half of the course, we're gonna anchor that habit. So it was specifically designed by, for that when I wrote it because that's how I accomplished it. It was about just sticking with it over and over and over. And it didn't look like fun when I was doing it. 
I mean, there were days where I was sitting at my desk stuffing envelopes because nobody else felt it was that important and they had more important things to focus on. And I knew that if those letters didn't get out and we had the next five coming in and the next five coming in the next day and the next five after that, that it would all pile up and it wouldn't work. So that's what the course is designed for. I really hope you'll join us on this fast track course. I hope you get it on your calendar. It's going to be on Mondays at 1030 Central. We're kicking it off on April 1st. Get a hold of Joseph at MAPS um, and let them know that you want to be in the course. If you have any clients that you know their one thing is lead generation or their one thing is getting their database fed every day, invite them to join this course. It's a great complement to your coaching where we can help them get masterful on this one piece so you can help them work on the other parts of their business to handle the business. Just Because it's going to take time for this to turn around. It took me about six months to start seeing results. So anyway, that course is coming up April 1st. I just wanted to give you one more little tidbit because it really lined up with what Gary put in the book.